Then elaborates. Okay, boys. Let's go to work. Each before beauty coaches. Whatever. Right. Change of plans, chaotic day. We hung out at the Barber Brigade photo shoot all day long. They had kind of a intense, kind of team bonding where they did built like a mini carnival with a bunch of games, plus a photo shoot for one of their launches coming next year. Um, Connor edited out all that fancy footage because we're not allowed to put it in there because it's gonna be down the road. But uh, then we got dinner with the crew, kind of said goodbye. And then I got a text from the homegirl Q, Chucky Welch, you guys might know, she's uh, one of the top weightlifters here in America. Um, she's in LA and was planning on, she hit me up and said, I'm either gonna go to downtown LA and kick it, or I'm gonna go down to San Diego and kick it, because we all have friends down there. And then conversation went, me and Connor spoke. It's probably 8.30 at night right now. We called our two homies, Vlad and Ryan, two guys that um, helped me with Kaizen and also stream with me on Twitch and they're able to live in San Diego, and they both want to kick it. So, basically we decided to leave the Airbnb one night early, partially because my legs got bit to shit last night and I don't know what the hell's in my bed, and also partially because San Diego sounds fun, and I never lived an adventurous part of my life, uh, and that's why we work for ourselves, so we can. So, Connor's in the way packing up, and uh, we're gonna go find where the hell Q is, somewhere on the way in between here and LA, and, uh, or excuse me, LA to San Diego, and then I guess we're going to San Diego. Maybe we'll see you tomorrow. Maybe we'll see you in the car. Maybe I'll never see you. Maybe I'll see you later. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you guys can fit. You guys can fit. Wait, you're silent, Mike. What's up? Bro? Oh my fucking god! No way! No. Well, yeah, I mean, if you get a, well, I mean, there's hotels downtown, but. What do we call ourselves, dude? Like the adventure duo? And we just like, we just snag friends, throw them in our car, and we just go and do adventures. And we're those guys. Adventure, adventure club. The, the adventure YouTube club. If you guys want to be a part of it, well, you should probably be my friend because I'm not going to pick up any strangers. So find a way to be my friend. I don't have any friends, so good luck with all that. We're in San Diego. Cool day. We had a, a, a we have a rough plan for the weekend. The rough plan was, um, Meet up with the homegirl Dunsmore. That's where Q stayed. Connor and I got a hotel. Uh, my boy Ryan and Matt are here. Uh, Dunsmore had to get uh, a real lift in. Uh, she's, again, a, a top level uh, USAPL lifter. Q is a top level um, USAW lifter. That's Olympic weightlifting. How often do you bench? Never. Really? Once Never. A year. No, not even. <laughs> I didn't bench anybody. This is going to be your first time benching ever. The last time I benched, I think, is when I was living in New York, and I left New York in like 2016. That was the last time you benched? And it was probably like before that, because I left in July, and I don't think I benched then, because we were prepping for regionals. They didn't have bench. No, there was no Linda in regionals yet. Are you ready? Do you lift up? Yes, just in case. One, two. <laughs> Three. Oh, <God. laughs> I just needed to do one. <laughs> How do you even do this? Stupid thing? What are you trying to do? No, no, I'm not you. Yeah. You gotta use a monolift, all right? <laughs> monolift and steroids. We don't know how to do these things. I'm deloading this week. Um, so I just have a light. Relatively late bench. I'm four weeks out from a meet, so. Okay, so I you're like peak. Yeah, I start yeah. peaking on Monday, so this is kind of like my last day of freedom. Uh, we're a bunch of scrubs, but they wanted to work out. Uh, they also go to the same gym that my homie Ryan goes to. I'm, I'm working out almost every day, but I'm not too worried about what I'm doing. I'm just trying to move, I'm trying to like just unwind a little bit. Although we're grinding on this content here and everywhere else, uh, physically through lifting and stuff. Again, I'm not that motivated, so just a little bit of bench, uh, a little bit of back. 
a uh, little bit of shoulders, and that's about it for me. Uh, Q had some squats. I think Dunsmore had a um, deload bench day, just lower volume, but still higher intensity. So I think I benched like 275 for a set of five at the top end, maybe 200 for three sets of five. Uh, I took some dumbbells, like it was just decent actually, 85s I think for a set of six or eight, and uh, called it a day. Then we went and grabbed some food, decent place over in Del Mar. I really like San Diego. I really like it. I don't know if I'd ever live here. Uh, it's a little expensive and I just don't know if I'd leave Sacramento. I need like a really good reason. Like Mike, you'd make this much money or you have this house or this opportunities there or, or something, something big. And I do have friends here and I like the environment, but I, I need like a real kick in the dick uh, to get me to actually move here. So until then, it's just probably gonna be visiting, but I do really like it here. So we went up to the Del Mar area, grabbed some nice little lunch. It was kind of fancy. I kind of like that sometimes. I, I like dressing like a bum, but be able to hang with the fancy folks. It's just kind of my style, I think. Like, I wanna drive like a Lamborghini, but wear socks and sandals. I think that's my ultimate goal. That's that kind of speaks to who Mike is, you know? I talked about it a little bit in my E30, my dream car. If you guys wanna do Silent Mike, my dream car video, where that's just kind of my style. Like, classic, but not classic hipster but bummy but not try hard i don't want to be a try hard like i want to be a chill guy like i like wearing just shirts and shit and this hair just let it do its thing but still I like to be a little fancy as fuck sometimes so grab a dope lunch chill with the squad try to oyster i don't think we got it on film but that was like maybe my second oyster of my whole life it was all right it was all right i wouldn't say it's like something i'd order but i think it is good protein so maybe i'd order it, it just tastes like lemon you put a lot of lemon on there and you just slurp it and then it just feels like a slug just uh so it was all right it was all right. I ain't against it. Uh, I want to find a football because we're going to a beach. Found a private, uh, not private beach, but a smaller beach, not as accessible near our homie Ryan's house. And we just kicked it, dude. Uh, and B-roll. And we're back. And it was a lot of cool uh, just to be able to hang, chat, play catch with the football, eat some sunflower seeds. We don't have a beach. I can't tell you the last time I went to a beach. Connor said the same thing. It's probably been years and years for either of us. And I'm not that much of a beach or water guy, but I do just enjoy kicking it in small groups. So finishing out the night, there's some UFC fights tonight. I want to go check those out. Shout out to our homegirl, Jamie the Love Boat. Uh, she's fighting. I think we're going to miss it because it's on the prelims. Um, but Stipe is fighting DC tonight. I am a UFC fan. Comment below if you guys watched a little bit of UFC. Uh, so I like to catch it when I can. And then we're just going to uh, live it up a little bit. So Ryan's going to come grab us. We're going to head downtown. Uh, see what San Diego downtown has to offer. I've never been out in San Diego. I don't really go out at all, but. Am I hungry? Yes, I am hungry. What are we eating? What's American fare? Everything. American fare, I would say burger, chicken fingers. Are you making this up? No. <laughs> Uh, I am down for food and a beer here and there. So last couple days here on our mini vacay or at least a, a fitness vacay and not being at home, I'm gonna eat what I want, drink what I want, have a little bit of fun, cruise around, appreciate you guys. Come check out San Diego.